All right, it's time now for Great Day Food. All week long, mm. we've been sharing recipes for some of our favorite Super Bowl snacks. And one thing, no fan should be without it. It's Channel 3 Sports Director Joe Zone's <laughs> famous <laughs> buffalo chicken dip. He's here now to show us how to make it. Hey, Joe, how are you? I'm great. Good to be with you guys. Look, at this thing is so famous. Every place I go to now, this is on display. This so is on display. It's, I've, I've got to shake it up because I've been copied. My family claims it's theirs. I go to our Christmas parties and they're... So they, I say, they got you know, it. They, I have to shake it up. Okay. I do make it, but I just say that it's Joe's own step. Well, that's very. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, I give, give you credit. Got to give some credit here. The big thing here is cheese, 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 and, and cheese. More cheese. So yes. we start with chicken. Now, rotisserie we used to get, right? Right. I don't do the rotisserie chicken. anymore. I but bought you could. It, you yeah. Could. I bought it just like this. It's already cut up. I didn't know you could get I rotisserie chicken, get chicken already either. cut yeah. up, but you got this that at ShopRite. ShopRite. Already cut up. Okay, and so that's put, the first ingredient yep, at the and bottom you just of a pan. Put it at the bottom of the pan as much as you want. It gives your chips and you know a little bump, and you can make as many big as, as you want, as small as you want. What and a time it, saver! It, it come, that is. Oh, and, it's, and it makes its own filling when you have the chicken in there. I yep, love that okay, it's a dip that's, that's kind of like a little mini meal. Wow, this dish is bigger than the other one I had. I'm glad I got two of these. Oh, okay. Okay, so anyway, there's that. Okay, shredded Out chicken. There. Okay. And my next thing is the cream cheese. Yeah. Again, brands don't matter. Slice it up. You notice how I had everything cut up ahead of time to save yep. time. Mm -hmm. You put that on like that, just very, as package. much as you want. It depends on the, how big your plate is. Again, this plate's bigger than the one that I pre cooked for television and the crew that's already attacked me on the way in trying to get it. Giant, everybody wants it. It's Joe's own. Yeah. So put as much of that on as you want, spread it around. Again, you're going to be melting this, so it's okay. All right, so that's that. All right. Next thing is. Blue cheese. Blue, blue cheese, cheese dressing. dressing. Any brand you want. But real, but you like the dressing rather than just putting blue cheese on there. Yes, I do. Because you need the creaminess. Okay. And so again, just kind of layer it on there. Yep. Okay. And this is where I go with, this is a change up. This used to be just the hot sauce. This now has got the chili garlic hot sauce. Cholula brand. Cholula brand. But again, the brands don't matter. It depends on what you want. And again... Yeah, but Ken, you use Ken's Steakhouse Chunky Blue Cheese, which is an <laughs> awesome brand. I do like it. And this is your... You know, you got to be careful how much you want to put on this, because this is going to give it obviously a little bit of pop. Okay. Now you used to use a buffalo sauce, right? Yeah, yeah, I change it up okay. again. But when you get copied, you got to you got to you got to change you up your game. Relevant. You know what I mean? You, gotta, you know. And, and finally, this is the Mexican cheese uh, blend. Four cheese Mexican blend. And then you put that on. Oh, my like God, that. Joe, that looks just so amazing. Yum, 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 and yum, And that's yum. the whole thing. So I said all cheese, cheese, cheese. And then I put it in the oven, 350, bake it until this all melts up, and it ends up looking like... Like this. Is it safe like this to touch one. this? I think it should be now. What do you think? Yes, we're good. Okay, so Beautiful. it looks like this. Um, all melted up. We've got chips. Oh, my God. I got the, thank you, my wife, Maria, the football bowl, who would know... Better. Chips don't matter. You want a sturdy chip, though, because this is a sturdy yeah. man's dip. Yeah. And that's what we got. And then usually it's a fork, because I like to make, I kind of do this, mix it up a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, just to break up the... See, the other thing I do, I'll eat this without chips. Yeah, yeah. With exactly. A fork. Right, who needs a chip? Who need, yeah. All right, you guys should just give I it mean, a... I mean, you really could put it on, like, roasted red peppers or something, too, but... So that was three fifty for 20 like minutes. Like, cut up some peppers and yeah. stick them in there? Yeah, or, or celery or whatever. Anything you want. It could be want. too hot. It's got to be to your own, okay. your own taste. I'm going to give this a little, little whirl mm -hmm. here. i got to see. I don't know if I like it with the garlic, so i got to try it. It's delicious. i got to try it with the... It's different than the one with the buffalo sauce. Yes. Yeah, you, we used... You told me to use Frank's Red Hot Buffalo before, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Mm, so good. Yeah, that's good. I could eat that whole thing. I'm mm. not kidding. That's the first time I tried it with... With the hot sauce? And you know, you got to shake it up. Got to shake it up. All right, so can you give us any predictions? What are you thinking about the game? Yes. Yes, please do. I hate picking against Kansas City and Mahomes because he's so good. And yeah. He makes all the big plays. That said, I thought all year that San Francisco was the second best team. Baltimore, I always thought, was the best. So when Baltimore lost, then Kansas City beat them. San Francisco now, I still think, is the best team remaining. It's okay. a close game. I'm picking the 49ers. Okay. 22-21. 22-21. And, and yeah. what, about, what are you picking for Taylor Swift? I think she makes it. I predicted last week that I thought that 
She would win more awards than Travis Kelsey would score touchdowns. Um, she has two, right? She got two at the uh, – Yep. So he needs only one. I All think right. that still holds up. There he is, Joe Zahn, the man, the myth, the legend. Thank you, Joe. Thank All you. Right. And uh, still ahead on your third.